Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for you. Today I'm making large altered paper clips. And I got these um, cheap ones from the dollar store because um, they don't have to be pretty because they're, on, they're not going to be seen. <clears throat> I have 12 of them here. So if you want to play along, you need some thicker paper. I have some coffee dyed cardstock. It's actually very thin cardstock. I wouldn't quite call it cardstock, but they called it that on Amazon. So anyways, it fit my budget, so that's what I'm using. So by large paper clips, hidden paper clips, I am referring to half the width of the sheet, which is going to be just slightly over four inches by the time I cut the middle. Okay, so this will give me two. You could use other paper if you have thicker stuff. I just am um, keeping in mind that I want to decorate it, which is why I didn't start with white. So I'm going to also um, pick out some printed sheet that I had here. This is from Shabby Dabby Duda. I'm just going to trim off the border and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to fold this one as well. And I'm sorry, I don't know who to credit for these. I have seen quite a few people do them, but I don't know who came up with them. So pardon me if I am not saying who originated them. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw Tina Chabby Dabby Duda make them. But I make them because I of all the altered paper clips I've made, I like these the best. And the reason is because they slide over the page the best. Okay, so this needs to go this way. With these, it won't matter so much because they're coffee dyed on both sides. The one, the side you want showing should be to the inside. The side I want showing needs to be to the inside. Okay, so then the paper clip goes over here, like so. And I need to make a whole bunch because I really like using them and they go, they go really fast. Okay, so that's only four. I'm gonna quickly make a few more and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little bit of work while I was off camera. Um, reason being, the furnace went on and I didn't want all that noise. But anyways, I'm back. And so I ended up with a few more than I originally planned to make. And that's because I found paper that I wanted to use up. So what I've done is I've rounded all my corners and I've put on the paper clips. I have folded all my pieces in half. And then I am going to turn my hot glue on. 
and I've also got out some ribbons. So when I put on the paper clip, I left a space so that I could either put a ribbon on or maybe some charms. A lot of these I'm not even going to decorate until I go to use them, but they're going to be versatile enough so that I can add whatever I choose. I also picked some paper that I wasn't fond of, um, but I'm going to decorate eventually both sides of this, so that will just be a background, and that's fine too. Um, you can also add a background, so that's not a big deal. Anyway, so I'm not sure how many I have here, but the next step then is to make sure the paper clip is um, attached. So we're going to take the, I'm going to use the hot glue because it sets the fastest. And I'm just going to do one side at a time here. And I probably should have um, folded my paper first. But here goes nothing. Okay, so set that. And then do the same on the other side. This time I will fold that. And I actually like it if these aren't exactly the same height, but um, in the end, it's not really going to matter. So, don't want the glue coming out too much the top there. So. That is one, and that's technically all there is to it. So, okay, then I'm going to do a few more because I do want to decorate some of them. And I forgot to round the corners on that one. Maybe I still can. It worked. So I also used different size paper. I switched to um, 12 by 12 because I do like them a little bigger than the 8 by 10 gives me. So the other way to make these bigger is if you um, attach the paper clip inside and then cover it up with paper, then you wouldn't have to fold this over. The problem with that and the reason I'm doing it this way is because then it doesn't go on and off out of your book as smoothly because the chances of it catching on the paper that you added uh, onto the paper clip to make it stay, um, it will catch on the page. And I just figure, you know, let's have something that goes on really smoothly. So that's why I'm doing this one. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well and are happy and healthy. So this is another in the series by Meg at Chasing Retro. She's doing that series, um, Ready, Set, Stash. And she's got a playlist of all the people taking part. So if you want more ideas, by all means, check out her channel and her 
playlists. She's um, continuing this through November, so that's a whole bunch of fun to be had. And honestly, I'm really liking this series because some of you will know that I decided to make um, a whole bunch of journals, single signature uh, journals for a youth group. Well, probably just the girls, but I mean, the guys could have one too if they wanted, but so far I haven't heard that they're interested. So might just be the girls, but then they have two youth groups at this one church. So I might go to another youth group or I might um, approach the um, admin for the seniors, for the ladies group to see if they might want some. So anyways, we'll see what happens there. But if you're doing like a, a big project, then it's nice to have all these things. Um, aside from that, if the youth group thing is over and done and the ladies don't want them, I'll probably start um, giving them out at work, which will be a bit more tricky because the youth group is easy in that I can put in all the scripture at work, I would probably end up being a little more selective with what I put in there because um, there's not a whole lot of believers at work. So, All right, so here what I just noticed is this has to be sealed on the outside as well. So what I'm going to end up doing is, is taking my other glue and just kind of going in around the outside, around the outside edge so that the, um, the pages are sealed here as well, not just where the paper clip is. That way, they will slide in there onto the page. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Probably would have been easier just to do all the gluing at once. So I will carry on with doing it the right way or the better way when I continue here. Okay, so I just wanted you to know that I had and that I had um, corrected that there. And so for this one, things like this going forward, I will fold these first. And then I will put the glue around the outside and then I will go in with the hot glue right over the paper clip this way it can start to set on the outside as well like so and don't want the paper, don't want the hot glue to close that up, but I think it did in this one. Oh, I should be able to take my pokey tool and make that good again. All right, so then the outside. And then the paper clip. Okay. 
And then just do as many as you want. I'll just do a couple more here. Hi, I'm back. I'm sorry, I got interrupted again. So it's already been a day. Anyway, so I've been decorating my um, altered paper clips. And I've been doing both sides. So that's kind of cool. I'm just kind of making them for the youth group at this point because I already know that I'll need a lot and I know what I want to say to them. So so yeah, it's coming along fairly well. Um, Two, I'm going to make some of these so that they sit on the side of the page, which is why this looks like it does. So then I just have to keep that in mind for that side. And I had some things pulled out here, but I'm not sure if, um, yeah, I'm having a day already. So... This is probably not the most cohesive video. I just feel like I want to trim that for some reason. I don't always trim it, but this time I thought I would like to have it trimmed. And then just going to ink that so it looks like it's finished. And then, yeah, so this side. I don't know, I keep reaching for the butterflies, but none of them are really talking to me. I want to put this on here, set free to serve the living Christ. And I feel like it needs a fairly large butterfly. So maybe these are all too small. Maybe that one kind of sticks out. It doesn't seem like it covers enough. Okay, right, I'm going to go in with the bigger ones. Oh. I think that one is from the Four Crazy Ladies, as they now call themselves. It used to be called... Um, Fuzzy cut freebies. Yeah, I think I like that. I also have some more colorful ones too. I kind of like that it pops. I like the color. So. I'm gonna use that one. I kind of forgot I had those. Yeah, so I already finished a few and I will show those to you in a second. Because from here on in, it's just, um, Picking some things that will go nicely to finish them off. So yeah, I hope you uh, give these a shot. You might like them. And I thought I thought they were a little bit big at first when I made them, but now they could actually be a bit bigger because I'm finding that my fussy cuts are all a little bit bigger than this. So, you just never know. You pretty well need stuff of all sizes just to <laughs> keep up. Okay, so there's that. And I don't know, I feel like it needs some bling or something. I don't usually put bling on top there. 
but this is going on the side, so. Where's my bling? It's hidden under all the things I just put in there. Oh, here we go. So I could either do one pearl that I have left or maybe these. Something like that. So this one will go in from the side. I still have quite a bit of room in here. I thought I was getting done, but. All right, so something like that. And then you can put stuff in behind there. And two, I think, I don't know, maybe a ribbon. Maybe a ribbon. act like a tab. One of those skinny ribbons would do nicely. And I'm just going to tie a knot. And then I can just kind of act like a tab, I guess. And I can pull it in and or pull it, push it on. Push it on and pull it off. So that makes for easy. All right, so I'm gonna show you the ones I made off camera. So the ones I completed, this one, be kind and with the feather. On the other side, there's some of my flowers, the word believe, and then there's this one, blessed and you are loved. So this one has a ribbon. This one has nothing yet. This one has a ribbon. I seem to be liking ribbons. I actually wanted to put one of those lace snippets on, but it didn't, I don't know. I guess maybe it would work now. I think I had it on this side. Like so. And then it kind of covered up the words. But, uh, I don't know. It's a little too fluffy for me for there. If I had something else that was flatter, maybe. Um maybe just a charm. Try that. Kind of like that. All right, so this will come apart go on there and that also goes in there so that can dangle off the side and then if you're if you care which direction it goes in you have to move it but there yeah that's about all I have time for today hi I'm I apologize, but um, I will try to work on those throughout the day, but at least you got to see what they look like when they're done. 
And remember, you can do them to the side too. You don't have to always put them on top. And uh, yeah, so thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye for now.